And just in case you missed out on all the buzz over Yendi Phillips' fantastic performance in the Miss Universe pageant last night, Entertainment Prime has you covered. Phillips came the closest any Jamaican has ever come to taking home the crown. She placed second in the 59th staging of the pageant in Las Vegas last night. The 24-year will beat 82 other beauties across the world to be selected first runner-up to Miss Mexico. Third place went to Miss Australia, while Miss Ukraine and Miss Philippines were placed fourth and fifth, respectively. Meanwhile, Jamaica is getting more than bragging rights as a result of Yendi's showing. The Miss Universe organizers have asked Jamaica to stage the international pageant here next year. TVJ spoke with the tourism minister, Ed Bartlett, about the offer. An elated Minister Bartlett told our news team today that his team would have preferred for the event to be held here in 2012 to coincide with the country's 50th anniversary celebrations. However, he says he'll take what he can get and next year is what's on the table. Talking about next year but my head is more in 2012 as it relates uh, directly to our 50th anniversary of independence. Um, so uh, one of our um, uh, officers is actually in Las Vegas now and the discussions are beginning. Um, and I think that it is uh, a very good thing for us, especially the fact that, that Yendi has um, uh, placed second. He believes that the promotions to be derived from such a venture would be of tremendous benefit to the country. Uh, and that certainly will give us um, a decided edge in terms of even the promotional efforts that we will do uh, and possibly for the sponsorships that can come um, to stage the event. Jamaica. For Entertainment Prime, I'm Crystal. Meanwhile, many people have been posting comments on the popular Friendship Network Facebook about Yendi Phillips' placement in the Miss Universe pageant. While commending Yendi for her performance, many people are of the view that her answer to the question about capital punishment costs her the crown. One comment read, quote, so many points to answer that hanging question, repeating, repeatedly mentioning God is least politically correct, while another read, quote, religion and politics will always bury you, end quote. And another critic felt Yendi was much better in general, but her answer to her question probably was her problem. One of the few people who supported Yendi's answer said she got the hardest question based on our situation here at home, so I think she did the best thing by leaving it all to God. 